Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Sports Gambling Daily. It's January 23rd. It is a Thursday, and my name is Jared. That is Philly, and that is Joe, and this is Sports Gambling Daily. So what's up, fellas? Hey, what's up, Jared? How are you? you? Pretty good, pretty good. We're going to be talking about the Dallas Mavericks on the road, taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Dallas is a one-point favorite on the road here, and uh, Portland, you know, they, they it looks like they just got uh, Kent Bazemore on their team. Uh, CJ McCollum is questionable, and Hassan Whiteside is probable with a groin. And on the other fl- on the other side, it looks like Kristaps is back to healthy here. Uh, yeah. He played versus the uh, the Clippers, and now Dwight Powell. Now he's out with a torn or ruptured Achilles tendon. So guys, are we going to take Dallas as they're on their this road trip, or we're going to go with Portland? Mm. Uh, I mean, I, I probably would lean Dallas, but I know Portland's a tough place to play. Um, mm-hmm. So that being said, I mean, and actually losing Powell is it is it is a big deal. I've, I've actually heard they were talking about maybe trading for a player that's sort of similar maybe to him and or something, another big guy that can shoot a little bit. And uh, yeah. we'll see what they decide to do there. But, I mean, I don't know. They've had ups and downs a little bit recently, but obviously Luka is still tremendous. and They still have the – you said Porzingis is working his way back in after being out for a little while. Um, they got some nice pieces. Uh, Portland, I don't know. Obviously, Dame is incredible. He's just coming off of, what, a 60-some point game. Yeah, that was um, I, but uh, they're a little hot and cold for me. They're a little back and forth. They're a little Jekyll and Hyde. I, I, I kind of lean Dallas in this, but I, I think you could certainly make arguments for Portland. On, you know, what are your thoughts, Joe? Yeah, I'm going to go strictly with Dallas. I, I agree. Uh, they just had that, you know, loss against the Clippers, you know, kind of a heartbreaking loss there, I think. I think they bounced yeah. back. Uh, Portland, of course, like I said, you, you said it right. Uh, Leonard hit, I think, 61 points to be exact. So he had a great night. Your night. So, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, Portland, again, like you said, up and down of uh, Lillard. I, I, I'm going to go with Dallas just because, again, I think Dallas – is a team that we're going to see down the road in the playoffs. And I think they need to start winning these games. Minus one to me is, you know, seems trappish, but I'm going to take it. Uh, give me Dallas minus one with, uh, you know, the Porzingis and Luka Doncic. Uh, yeah, there. guys, uh, I I was thinking about what I said prior. I definitely made a mistake here. Uh, I know Kent Bazemore was on the Blazers and he got traded to the Kings. So if you made it this far, you know, before you decided to write a comment, then I appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I was like, man, man, it didn't sound right when I was saying it. But anyway. Um, yeah. I, long, long story short. I like the Dallas Mavericks. They're the better team here. So, and it sounds like, I think we all agree. Right. So, um, am yep. I, or am I wrong about that as well? So no, I, I do agree with that. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys, let us know in the comments down below. You like the the Mavericks, or do you like the Portland Trailblazers? Absolutely. And if you like more content like this in the future, please uh, give our channel a, a thumbs up and a subscribe to the channel. We'll move on to the next video. Yeah, let's get it, guys. We got the Washington Wizards versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's get it. All right, see ya. Let's-